good morning everyone today we are discussing about uh, ssl protocol and even firewalls this, uh, this is the introduction of the subject where into this particular perspective we are discussing about uh, how exactly and what exactly this ssl protocol is all about security socket layers protocol yes basically we are going to make a complete amount of uh, uh, package we do have with respect to the amount of uh, the data so that data will be uh, broken into small packets and we are going to store that and uh, that SSL protocol whatever we are going to do that a small package that has to be secured with the socket layers there are two different methods one is about uh, security socket layers can be created and uh, each one of the security socket layers need to be protected with uh, a proper amount of uh, encryption where you need to code that and second thing is about uh, a secure hypertext transfer protocol yeah this is uh, one more method but people they do follow in terms of uh, a general control of an information system so having a general control over the information system many of the time the question is going to get raised so do we need to hold the control over the complete content or else uh, only that data that's a question maybe in case if I'm going to take the simple consideration of one of the website so website will be having uh, many of the different blogs are associated under one website correct so that particular independent blog in the sense the part of that website that data content need to be secured or the complete blog need to be secured that's a question correct so in that if you are going to make it into small pieces and if you are making it socket layers then it is to be called as a SSL of the same website okay whereas uh, if you are going to think that that uh, HTTP security is more than sufficient because uh, by chance if any kind of virus is going to get inject at least uh, that uh, data whatever we have entered is going to be secure if you are thinking like that then uh, yes HTTP secure hypertext transfer protocol is more than sufficient and come to the amount of uh, firewalls yes uh, it's a piece of uh, software which is going to hold the control about uh, who can access that particular software okay so accessing the software is all about uh, injecting any kind of data into that particular protocol into that software so that uh, visibility will be there to the clients when they are going to access okay so here there are some of the necessity of uh, having one of the firewall that firewall can be created by yourself by making a, a proper amount of uh, encryption and decryption in a sense coding and decoding activities okay or also even some of the other the con other considerations also where you can go for having firewall one it is about a uh, data driven attacks the normal data which is being coded by you can be hacked by somebody and uh, they can make the changes in your data that's the reason you need firewall second point is about a uh, Trojan horse virus which may get inject into your computer through any of the website or through any of the particular uh, external drive okay where uh, which may go for creating uh, a merging of files sometime merging of folders dummy folders can be created those are the threatenings will be there 
So we need to protect our firewalls properly. Even about uh, domain name system spoofing, in the sense of imitating of uh, your domain name system where numerous amount of uh, duplicate files are going to take into the same place and uh, it is going to create more and more amount of doubt which one is original and others are duplicate finding out this thing itself is going to be a big task correct so even about uh, IP slicing some sort of uh, part of your complete database can be under theft and uh, they may divide that complete database and they may use that thieves who have hacked your computer they may use that where which may not be come to your picture completely but whereas theft is being taken place after so and so amount of years you may find it for uh, yes theft is being taken place and by that moment you may not be in a position to take any kind of call towards that okay IP slicing that's the point and the next point is about uh, social engineering where social media maybe people have observed that uh, uh, some of the people uh, social media is being hacked and that is going to be overwritten by somebody where uh, it is not at all being addressed by that owner of that social media okay maybe I can go for calling uh, your Facebook account may be hacked by someone and uh, they may take your data or else they may overwrite on your page wall page anything can be possible okay even about some of the viruses are there which can go for acting as like a, a secret trap doors very much difficult to tackle with all these aspects so secret traps which are going to take place where you may not be able to diagnose who has made this threatening call and what data he has hacked and which particular uh, uh, commodity is facing any kind of problem probably these are all biggest question marks we were not able to tackle with this that's the reason we need to have a proper firewall system for our organizational equipments okay so through this we may go for securing our sockets database as well as information system thank you with this note we will be ending up with the both aspects of SSL as well as even firewalls. Thank you one and all.